think of Jesus in Matthew 10. He said to the boys, I call us the disciples. He said, here's what I want you to do. Everywhere you go and every place you walk in, preach the good news and make it announce it like this. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And you know, the thing is, Jesus' words 2,000 years ago are still absolutely the truth today. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the thing about the kingdom of heaven, this supernatural, invisible realm, is it helps us see things differently than the world does. But you see, when we don't see things from the kingdom perspective, we see things from a worldly perspective, we have a strange view of things. But the moment we get into the kingdom of God, God's precepts, God's systems, then you begin recognizing things different. Perception. Perception. Perception is all about how you see things. But then as I began reading the word more and I began getting, um, what's the word, climatized, I began having my mind renewed to seeing things from the kingdom perspective, my whole perspective changed. My whole perception, the way I see things, right? You ever seen that? Like, I mean, when you're a kid, I mean, like you, you look at a big chunk of milk chocolate and you're thinking that, pers- that that looks awesome. That should be in my mouth right now, right? Right? But you see, through my experiences in life, and through my, my season maturity, I realize when I look at that milk chocolate now, all I see now is basically just um, pimples. And I know if I eat that milk chocolate, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to get really like I'm going to have a breakout and I'm going to feel really sluggish and tired. And then when I go to see the dentist the next time, he's going to be saying, Stephen, what in the world have you been eating? Your teeth are rotting out of your head. And then he pulls out the drill. And so now when I look at milk chocolate. Now I see it totally from a different perception, right? I have a different view. This is what God wants to do for me and you. When we get into the kingdom way of thinking, he aligns our perception with we begin to see what God sees. You know, Isaiah says this, as the heavens are above the earth, so are God's ways above Stephen's ways. So are God's thoughts. My ways are above your ways of the heavens and above my thoughts. And wh- how did I get there, though? Like, I mean, I know there was a lot of changing in Stephen's thinking. And how did I get there? It wasn't by sitting and just going, well, you know, can you tell me what your thoughts are about God? And maybe could you tell me what you think about Jesus? And because, you know, a lot of people think strange things about Jesus, right? People, people say they love Jesus. A lot of people love Jesus. But until you get a biblical reference, a b- biblical perspective of Jesus, the real Jesus, you're even like me as a little boy. You, you may see Jesus do something in the gospel and you're like, well, that's that's not that's not nice. But then as I had my relationship with Jesus and every time I'd read the word, he keep welcoming me into his kingdom, his kingly domain. And he started telling me, son, you're, you're not that son. You're this son. You belong to Father God. You're, you're a child of the Most High God. Then I started to realize, see, my whole, see, I had to move. See, the truth never moves. I, I used to really hope that the truth, the truth would be somehow on a sliding scale and it would move for me and adjust to my life. The truth never adjusted to my life. And, and thank God it never adjusted to my life. Thank God that God never said, well, you know, my ways, Stephen, are above your ways as the heavens are above the earth. So, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my ways down a little bit for you. You know what God did? He kept his ways exactly where his ways are. He kept his thoughts exactly where his thoughts are. And then he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you, Stephen, the Holy Spirit. You're going to get to have the Holy Spirit not just living with you, but in you. And he will interpret my thoughts for you. Isn't that awesome that we can have God's thoughts on the inside of us? That we can have God's ways mapped out for us. You know what? Something happens. Something supernatural happens in our minds and in our thinking as we're in the presence of God. You know what I believe? I believe that God's ways and his thoughts begin to like in a supernatural way. They begin just to enter in our thoughts. They begin going into our minds. And suddenly the way I used to see things, I see things different. We get this whole new perception, right? We get to get God's thoughts and thinking.